Hey everybody, Amanda Rijeko here. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications of future uploads. Please also watch my previous content, like, comment and share with absolutely everyone. To all the returning subscribers, a huge welcome back. Amanda Rijeko wouldn't be if it weren't for you. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a little story time about something that happened to me and a couple of other people. So I'm going to be protecting the identities of everybody involved. There are four people involved in the story, including myself. But every time I talk about myself, I will mention it that I'm talking about myself. But the other three people, I am going to call them guy number one, guy number two, and the girl. And then I'm the second girl. So, yeah. So, I don't want to disclose their names or disclose anything that might be suggestive. Because there are certain people that are subscribed to my channel that know me personally. So, I don't want to, you know, cause a stir or anything like that. I just want to talk about the story because it is crazy so yeah we went to an afternoon turn up one time this turn up was only gonna be until around 6 p.m. 6 30 p.m. at the very latest so I actually got to the place first I believe and I knew that I was going to meet people that I know already because it was kind of like a big deal. It was in a different city from the city where I resided at the time. Um, so we were far from home, essentially. So what happened was after a few hours of me being there, I saw a familiar face. I saw a lot of familiar faces actually. But then after a few hours of me being there, I saw a familiar face, which is guy number one. And you know, we were just like, hey, what's up, what's up, this, this and that. And obviously people were making plans about what to do at night. Because this turn up was only until around 6 p.m. And it was a Saturday and yeah. So guy number two was with guy number one i always introduced him as one of his longtime friends and um you know just a whole lot of nice things that were being talked about like the brotherhood this this and that so i don't remember where the girl came into the story but then at some point i just saw guy number two with the girl and they were just chatting and all that and then eventually i was actually introduced to the girl and i was introduced to her as somebody that had been a part of guy number two's life at a certain point and i actually was asked quite a couple of questions by the two of them um pertaining to you know we ended up not getting together because of this this that is this is this my fault or is this my fault this is guy number two and the girl you know questioning me and just being like um the girl was like you know what i wasn't feeling him and the guy was like i was down for her and i would have done anything for her and i really really loved her and i feel like I deserved a chance the girl was very resistant about it and then they ended up not hooking up they got out of each other's lives for years and then they met at the turn up so anyway we all make plans like what are we gonna do afterwards blah 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 and then the four of us ended up together guy number one guy number two the girl and myself so guy number one guy number two and myself we were all from a different city the girl was based in that city where we were at the time so we all planned to go to another city like we were just like why not like let's just go to another city let's go let's have fun let's paint the town red so we went to the girl's place because we wanted to change i had been in a dress and heels 
I wanted to change. She had also been in a dress and heels. And so we went to her place and we went to change. So when we got inside her place, I was the first one to change. So I changed pretty comfortably, like into my shorts and flip flops. And then she started changing. But when she was changing, both guys walked in and they actually saw her in a bit of a compromising position, but it's like she didn't care, you know? So I'm very conservative. I was like, I wouldn't let guys just look at me like that because she was, she was topless and she was like trying to cover herself up, but she wasn't making enough effort because she was like, ah, oh, you guys, but like, you know, her hands are not really covering the girls. Her hands are just like, ah, oh, but guys, but guys. So that seemed a bit weird for me because I was like, I wouldn't do that. But over the years, I've just come to accept that my methods aren't everyone else's methods so sometimes I just keep my opinions to myself but I found it strange we all leave the place and we all head out to this other city so on our way there I remember feeling a little uncomfortable it wasn't too far away though but I was feeling very uncomfortable because guy number one was driving and he wasn't really driving properly and um it had now come to the late hours of the night i think it was well after 10 p.m and i felt like he just wasn't driving properly i started being very very conscious even though i had also had a few to drink but then i remember thinking to myself this was a bad decision i shouldn't have agreed to you know go with these guys but it was too late because we were already like on our way there and it's super late at night and i couldn't get them to turn back because we had already entered the freeway and there was no other way to exit except for getting to the city that we were going to so i remember complaining like dude you're not driving properly and stuff like that and he ended up getting very upset with me and then guy number two started driving when guy number one was driving i was sitting in front of in front with him and then guy number two and the girl were sitting at the back the supposed couple from a long time ago or should have been a couple from a long time ago they were sitting together so guy number two had to come to drive and then i sat with guy number two mind you we kind of had had chats in the afternoon we kind of like had had rapport he had told me a little bit about himself about his career and stuff like that obviously he had talked about this girl you could see that he really was into her whenever that was that they tried to hook up or he tried to hook up with her we actually had probably a bit of a conversation on the way and i was feeling a little more comfortable because i knew he hadn't had like he hadn't been drinking like crazy he probably had one or two and that's all that he had had so I was feeling a little more comfortable and a little more at ease um, so anyway it was a rough ride to get to the other city but we got there and then we decided that we were gonna go to um, this other place where you know people were just hanging out so we went there we hung out um, there was music there was alcohol um, I didn't even know where we were gonna sleep we didn't even plan all of that what just gave me a bit of assurance was that guy number two wasn't drinking he's the one that was gonna take us home or take us back to the other city where we had met so I was chilled out so I actually got hungry and then I was like okay we need to get some food so we decided to drive into the CBD or into into the town of, of that um, city and we were looking for a fast food place um, so he had an idea of a fast food place that was open so I don't know if he started being all male about it um, he tried to make out with me he tried to touch me but when I told him to stop he was very respectful he didn't cross any lines and I was just like yeah I'm, I'm not about that you know <clears throat> it ain't me 
we grab the food we go back we get back to this place where we had been chilling out and guy number one and the girl are making out they're like kissing they're just in the moment so i'm already eating because as soon as we got our food i started eating and we, we were driving back to this place where we had left them as i was eating and i was really just enjoying my food and you know i wasn't really thinking about much and then we get there and these two are kissing when i saw them kissing i didn't even think anything of it i was just like ah oh, whatever but then the guy guy number two he got super affected by it so i remember him parking the car then he reclined his seat and then i offered him food and then he was just like no i don't i don't even want to eat i'm just so disgusted and I can't even believe what I just saw and I was like dude whatever just get over it you tried to make out with me if I had agreed then we would have also been making out so what's the big deal and meanwhile I'm just like eating like dude whatever like just enjoy the food the food is great um you know and then he's like nah this is this is crazy he is throwing in some swear words in there. I'm still not taking him seriously, by the way. I'm still just thinking to myself, this is not even a big deal. I'm still not even thinking that this has affected him in a bigger way than what I could imagine. So anyway, guy number one and the girl come to the car and I'm like, hey guys, we've got food, this is that. Um, and then they... I don't think they started eating I think they just saw that there was food and then they were like yeah it's all good and then they sit at the back <clears throat> again like how we had been sitting when we drove to that city this is now probably 1 a.m. or 1 30 a.m. Um, and then we all made the decision that we're gonna sleep in the city where we had met which is where girl number two actually lives so we set out to go there everything is just hunky-dory we're super chilled guy number one tries to like you know holler at guy number two like your man what's up and he's just not having it and i think the girl noticed so she's like dude what's up and he just kept quiet we drove out of that center where we were and we went into the cbd and then this guy must have done like 180 kilometers an hour in the CBD. It literally looked like we were going to crash. I don't know how long he was speeding for, but we were all super scared and helpless. No one could do anything about the way he was driving because he was driving. I was sitting in front with him. He was so helpless when somebody is driving recklessly and they're mad. So I don't know. I don't remember how long it was. If it was 10 seconds or 20 or 30 or a minute or whatever. Like it was long though. He almost hit this big pillar that was in the, in the city then i think he swerved there weren't many cars driving because this is like 2 a.m in the morning so there weren't many cars that were still driving around but i don't know what swerve he did and then we got to this place where there was a bump on the road sort of like a deformity of the road and the car actually jumped up like we were in mid-air and then we fell back down so we're just all screaming dude stop 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 eventually he stops and the moment he stops i undo my seatbelt and i get out of that car i was like i'm not driving with this person it's not happening i was so scared my heart was racing everyone's heart was racing i'm sure his heart was racing as well even though he's the one that you know 
did all of this so the two guys get out of the car and they like facing off so guy number two is saying to guy number one i never thought you'd betray me like this how dare you um i think he started talking about you know how i feel about this girl i've told you about this girl over the years and you just go ahead and kiss her and guy number one as far as i remember i think he just said why did you do that to the girls if this was about you and me you know like you could have you could have killed us and i think these two people were saying different things to each other because he's saying you betrayed me whatever and then he's saying how how did you do this to all of us if this is about you and me and i remember guy number two literally like pressing into guy number one's chest like saying whatever he was saying but like doing this to him like you know it's almost as insulting as having someone do this to you <laughs> you know what i mean and i remember feeling scared like oh my gosh there's gonna be a fight here there's gonna be a fight here there's gonna be police here this thing is gonna be such a mess it's gonna blow up in all our faces it was just crazy anyway um guy number two then tells all of us to get back into the car he's like get back in the car we're going home i was i was thinking to myself no i'm not gonna do that i'd rather sleep on the streets i'm not gonna go back with you and the girl who is in tears by the way at this point in time tries to convince me that he's gonna drive properly and i, I said to her you have no guarantee of that you don't even know this guy anymore you you haven't been in touch with him for years how would you know what what kind of person he is when he's angry like we have seen what kind of person he is when he's angry and i'm not gonna have him drive me to death i'm not gonna let this guy go back on the freeway with me it's not happening guy number one managed to walk away without actually fighting um and then I now started looking for guy number one because I was like, this is the person that I know. If I didn't know him, then I wouldn't have been hanging out with all these people to begin with. We looked across the street and then we saw him. I'm now with the girl. We looked across the street, we saw him and then we're like, dude, so where are you going? And all that. I then said to guy number one, let's just book into this, this place because there was this hotel very close by. And I said, let's just book into this hotel, just get some sleep and then wake up and figure it out tomorrow. And tomorrow we're actually going to have more options of transport that we can use to go back to the city where we had gone to. We all had our bags there because we just wanted to have fun in the other city. So all our bags were in the original city that we had met. So he agreed. We booked in. We, we booked into one room and it was... A room with two beds we just slept like he was such a gentleman about it is a gentleman in general like from the time that I knew him he has always been a gentleman I don't know about now but like when I knew him he was always a gentleman so we went to sleep then the girl followed us to our hotel room and then she tried to convince us and i i remember just saying to her look i'm not gonna go with this guy i'm actually gonna sleep so yeah oh yeah before we went up to the hotel guy number two had parked his car right outside the hotel and then he said he is gonna wait until 6 a.m and he's gonna leave for the original city where we had met whoever is in the car is in the car whoever isn't in the car isn't in the car and i remember thinking to myself i'm not gonna be in the car it's not happening so anyway we go to sleep i think the girl the girl follows us and then she tries to convince us to come back down and, and go back to the city with with um with the two of them i was not having it i was tired as well i wanted to sleep i hadn't slept well the previous night as well i think i had had probably four or five hours of sleep so i was very very tired so i opted to sleep and then 6 a.m 
she comes back to our, to our hotel room and then she says to us let's go don't worry he's in a better mood now he um is okay we talked this this that whatever whatever and then i remember just thinking to myself okay fine let me go and see what's up like i need to see it with my own eyes i need to see how he is and how he's doing before i risk my life and get into his car so he he sees me he gives me a hug he he says he's sorry for what he did he acknowledges that he put my life at risk he, he was talking to me directly he acknowledges that he put my life at risk and he apologizes for it he promises to drive properly and he, he just says let's go you know please don't please don't fear i'm not gonna do anything bad to you i also want to live i have so much to live for and and all that so please don't fear just get in the car and let's go that that's what he said to me then he talks to guy number one and then they have their whatever brotherhood talk um, and then I don't remember if they hugged it out, you know, not like hug hug, but you know, like guy hug I don't, I don't remember if they did that But I saw them laughing and starting to talk about other things and Just being in the mood that they were in the previous day when I saw them and when I saw what they were like together when I was introduced to guy number two by guy number one so I felt safe and then we actually embarked on the journey so we went back to the other city where we were and then we actually hung out for the rest of the day um, but then guy number one just kept his distance from the girl so guy number two and the girl would be together like most of the time even when we sat down to eat um, even when we did whatever we did in the in the city they they were sitting together eventually we got back to our city like much later on at night i took guy number two's number and we started chatting and one time when i asked him like so what then happened with you and the girl he just said we just never spoke again and i closed that chapter in my life so yeah that was my crazy story that was probably the time where i was the most scared in my life because <laughs> it was it was insane it was insane and it was insane how someone could get so angry over something like that which I felt was very unfounded. His anger was very, very unfounded. It wasn't even necessary for him to be that angry because things happen. They were never in a relationship. They were never tied down to anything. They still weren't in a relationship. He might have had feelings for her, but he was not with her. He had tried to make out with me, so why couldn't she make out with someone else? You know what I mean? So yeah, but... I'm glad that we got out of that and we got out of that in one piece or in four pieces and it was just insane but well it happened so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that crazy story time about that insane night slash morning in my life um, yeah there's gonna be more stories that i'm gonna share with you on my channel so i hope you're into stories if you haven't checked out my other videos please do check them out i'll leave all the links in the description since my channel is still small and all the links still fit in the description box of one video i will leave them all down i also will have my social media handles for um instagram facebook and twitter please check me out there as well um once again thank you so much for um all the support thank you so much for watching this video and until next time cheers <laughs>